good morning. It's in the Keep Your Live with Mindset Monday. And today I want to talk about the topic, nothing changes until you change. And uh, it, this is really important because um, a lot of people keep doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. And it's not always about everything that you learn, but it's about practicing the stuff that you already know you should be doing that you're not doing. Um, and remember, if you need my help, uh, reach out to me at 90days2k.com. I can help you with both mindset and building your real estate portfolio. So uh, what, do, what do I mean by nothing changes until you change? Well, um, we lots of times uh, read a book or take a seminar. We had the pleasure of sitting through a three-day event uh, live streamed. Uh, to my house uh, with a few of my, my uh, friends and business associates, couple students. And uh, we watched uh, Bob Proctor and his group present live for, uh, well, it was about two and a half days. It was so good. It was just phenomenal. But one of the things uh, that I hear from people a lot is, I, I know that. I've done that. I, I know about that. Um, and and Bob talks a lot about repetition being the mother of skill, and he t he talks about how he's read Think and Grow Rich every day since he was introduced to that book in 1961. And for those of you that don't know Bob Proctor, he's uh, going to be 87 this year. He's still speaking at these live events. He he's amazing, tons of energy. And he's constantly improving every day. And of course, he's a gazillionaire. I don't know what, because he doesn't really talk about it. But what he talks about is, you know, giving tips at restaurants so big that people think uh, it's a mistake. Um, giving people, or I think he said he lost 5,000 cash at one time. And it was like, whatever. He says, I, I stressed about it for a few minutes thinking about it. And then he said, then I thought, well, they probably need it more than I do or whatever. You know, so he's got a, a, a real attitude of growth. And one of the things that he says is uh, nothing changes until you change. And a lot of times our belief system is uh, ingrained into us, uh, you know, well, actually, all our belief systems are ingrained, ingrained into us back before we were seven years old. And uh, if you look at your family history, you know, you're probably not a lot further ahead than your parents. Maybe some, uh, but not a lot. Uh, and we, we sometimes say, you know, rich kids are born with a silver spoon in their mouth. Well, they are. But you know what? Part of that is the attitude that the parents drop down to the kids. Um, and, uh, you know, some, I, I've heard it said in a derogatory form many times, like if you ever watched, um, Paris Hilton's show, uh, that her, for the first reality show out about her going to the farm and she had no clue. The fact is she had no clue cause that wasn't how she was raised. She was raised with all kinds of money around. She didn't know about milk and cows, <laughs> like any of that kind of stuff. And it was actually quite hilarious, but a lot of people took a lot of issue with that. Um, oh, this poor little rich kid with all her money in the world. And they think that those money, money should stop every challenge you have. Well, that, it doesn't work like that. But as you grow as a person, you can handle more and more, more challenges in your life. And if you choose not to grow as a person, challenges just seem to be overwhelming and overwhelming. And you know, if she, if she chose uh, to do that reality show just for fun, like I think they had a lot of fun doing it, and it was an awakening, awakening moment for her. Um, but you know, she went on to make all kinds of money from, uh, from her reality show, and some people were saying famous for being famous. But you know what, if people will pay, why not, right? That's my thoughts, who cares? Who cares if they're born with a silver spoon in, her, in their mouth? If we're saying that, we're probably just jealous of them because yeah, lots of kids are born. I don't even feel like our kids are born with a silver spoon in their mouth, or our youngest two anyway. And I know the difference because my oldest one wasn't. We lived in subsidized housing. We went had her in subsidized daycare. I earned not much more than minimum wage as my first income. Um, it, it was a way different lifestyle than I have with my my uh, girls now. And, uh, and my oldest daughter notices that and points things out. And I mean, she doesn't dwell on it or harp on it because she's gone on to make a really good life of, for herself. But we could, we could feel sorry for ourselves forever and never, never get better. But um, 
one of my students this weekend said to me, well, and what drove you? What drove you from your background to where you are now? And I said, you know, I just always knew there was something better for me. I always felt like I could do better. Um, I didn't know how for the longest time. I didn't know how, but I kept looking, reading books, and, and I still remember pretty much when I was introduced to personal development, and that was when I was like 20 years old. So a lot of people uh, started a lot younger. Heck, I've sent my girls to personal development workshops already at their age, um, and I'm actually talking to my, my daughter, who's going to turn 18 in March, about maybe taking Bob Proctor's uh, course so that she can go out and be a, a coach. Like there was a girl on stage yesterday, 23 years old, made $300,000 in the last three months uh, selling Bob's coaching programs. Well, that's amazing. But, but it's, and it's not just the money either. That girl is going through the whole personal development program that was actually referred to her by her parents, just so you know. Um, and so she's learning as she goes. So she, as she learns, she's able to share with these people. I don't think she's coaching. I think she's just selling the programs to people uh, for the other coaches to coach. But she's going through the program, learning how to do it at the same time. So that's that's powerful. And so if if she can change at 23 years old uh, by learning the the skills and the and doing the repetition work that a lot of us don't like to do, um, man, we any any one of us can go anywhere. So when you think about uh, that that comment, nothing changes till you change. What do you need to change? Do you even know what you need to change? Do you even know? the paradigms that are holding you back in your head um do you even know uh what what you have what you can do to overcome some of those limiting beliefs because that's what a paradigm is, is is a belief and it's a habitual belief so even though somehow when we learn some stuff we can we can learn it intellectually but it's still here so your first response uh, when you see you know somebody like Paris Hilton is oh that kid's born with a silver spoon in her mouth where do we get that from because our, our parents probably said it we don't just make it up our parents said it and if our parents didn't say it or a teacher said it or people who had an influence over us over the years so um, next time you see somebody like that just just see if that if that comment goes through your mind and realize that that's a limiting belief. Um, I'm gonna do a little a shout out on, on one of my brothers, but uh, the other day, uh, my brother Darwin, who I love very much, and he's an absolute fantastic guy. Uh, and this is just to show you some of our fam family's belief systems, not just my brother, but me as well. Um, he posted in on Facebook that the CEO of Tim Hortons had made something like $250 million last year. And he made a comment that nobody, nobody deserves that kind of income. And they were talking about how at the same time Tim Hortons employees uh, break time was reduced, or I can't remember all it was. There was a few things that were apparently taken away from the employees. Um, and then one of my other brothers uh, chimed in and he said, yeah, that's ridiculous. He says, they should have to work for minimum wage. Uh, and just see what it's like. And, uh, you know, I just couldn't hold back. I had to, I had to comment. And I said, you know, Tim Horton's jobs are meant for minimum wage people or, or it, they're not meant to be $100,000 a year jobs, unless you're the CEO. Because if you're the CEO, you're, you're managing a whole pile of people who are managing other people who are managing other people and keeping the staff going and, and they're making tons of money. Like you go through any Tim Hortons, there's always a lineup. We even have, we don't go very, or very seldom go through a Tim Hortons drive-through, but if we do go through a drive-through, it's a Tim Hortons. And we love their coffee and we even buy it at home. So there, there's a marketing there that's working very, very well. The CEO generally gets paid based on performance. And so that's obviously this case uh, because he's making the company lots of money. But you know what? Passing that money on down to uh, people who pour coffee and, and sweep floors and make sandwiches, I'm sorry to say this, but guess what? It's never gonna be a $100,000 a year job. If you want more, you have to be more and thus do more. Pouring coffee, there's not a lot of skill involved, I'm sorry. You know, the first time, 
time or two, you might spill it on your customer, but pretty soon you know to aim for the hole in the cup, right? Like there's not a lot of skill involved. So it's not a 30, 40, $50 an hour job. If you want more, go do more, be more, be more valuable to people. And I mean, we love our Tim Horton servers. They're awesome. Most of them just got a great attitude and a smile whenever you go in there. But to think that you should get a piece of the of the uh, CEO's income is ludicrous. And so I had to post that in Facebook. But you know what? That's our paradigm. That's how we were brought up. We were brought up uh, you don't have a silver spoon there, lady. Money doesn't grow on trees. Who are you to think you can become rich? I still remember telling my parents that I wanted, like I wanted to become rich and them saying, and not just my parents, but all lots of family members. Edna, what do you expect? You have your grade 12. You're lucky to have a job at this doctor's office. Look at, you get weekends off. You know, you get to spend, We look at all your friends, they're waitressing and, and, and uh, cleaning and, and retail jobs. You know, you, you got it made, Anna. What makes you think you deserve more? And you know, those people love me. They weren't trying to hold me back. They were, they were trying to protect me. They Dewan didn't want me to get hurt. And you know what? I've maybe been hurt a lot more than people who don't take any chances, but what I'll tell you is it's been worth every time. Every time that I've been hurt for whatever reason, whether it's a personal thing or a business thing, things have always gotten better for me, always. And I keep every year getting better and better and learning. And so, so this live stream event this weekend, again, we learned a ton of stuff. So much, I mean, we didn't even go through the whole booklet. The booklet was like 187 pages long. We didn't even go through the whole thing. So there's a bunch of self-study we can do as well. Um, and, and first thing I do is, oh my gosh, I want to take that course just so I can learn for myself and pass it on to the people that do follow me because it's just, it's a, it was amazing work. And personal development work, which has really been a love of mine since I was introduced to it when I was 28. It's something I could study all day long. Uh, and never worry about getting paid for it. And of course, when I study it, I want to share it with everybody close to me because I see what a difference it's made in my life. Uh, and so and so I want to share it. So again, if you need my help making those changes, because nothing changes till you change, reach out to me at ednakeep.com or at 90days5k.com and we'll chat because there's many different ways you could work with me where I could help you do that. So have a really, really good day. And remember, nothing changes unless you change. Hey, hi, Walter. Nice to see you on. We got to book a call here soon. <laughs> I got some good stuff to share with you. Talk to you soon.